plan. It's a call for action from industry to double renewable energy in America. Uh, President Obama has called for this within three years. I'm with two gentlemen here who have got some innovative technology they'd like to tell us more about. Um, Mike Jap and Dan Shapiro. Gentlemen, if you could uh, explain your company a little bit, uh, I think it would be uh, very interesting for us all. Mike. Sure. Thanks, Chris. Uh, one of the aspects of our, of our company is to try to commercialize a newly patented idea which involves taking municipal solid waste and other similar waste, such as auto shredder residue, uh, through a technology that involves the use of CO2, which uh, heretofore has been an inert gas, thought not to be able to uh, react with anything. And uh, this patent allows us to take these waste streams to a carbon equivalent product in a very low temperature reaction that occurs as an exothermic reaction and hence is extremely uh, uh, efficient at converting trash and other forms of waste to, to a coal equivalent that might be utilized in, for instance, a coal-fired facility that right now might not be at capacity for, for, for obvious reasons. Uh, and do you have any projects planned uh, in the near future? Uh, where we stand in our development right now, we're looking to do a pilot run through, uh, at this stage, a fluidized bed reactor. Uh, which we feel might be uh, one of the, there's several different ideas for us to do this, but this seems to be the most logical one. Uh, what we're hoping to gain from that experience is some real good test data that would be, uh, be available to us. And that would give us a chance to go to engineering companies and figure out exactly what we've got in terms of cost and uh, viability toward commercializing this whole process. Well, gentlemen, thank you both for your time. Uh, this is the kind of innovation that's going to help us double renew renewable energy in America and uh, make the plan reality. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you, Chris. Chris.